My name is Maggie and I'm Catholic. And being Catholic is the greatest joy of my life. And I wanna share with you today why I'm Catholic. Not just why I'm Catholic in the first place. I'm Catholic in the first place because when I was a real little baby, my parents got me baptized. But I wanna to talk today about why I am still Catholic. Even though Catholicism has experienced so many scandals, even though so many of my Catholic friends have stopped practicing the faith, even though it can be so hard to live out Catholic teaching, even though I'm a sinner and I still fall into the same sins, even though there's so many obstacles in my way and so many reasons for me to stop being Catholic, I want to share with you why I still am Catholic. <laughs> First reason for why I'm still Catholic, it's still true. Catholicism is true. It is rational to believe in the existence of God. It is historical. It is credible to believe in the existence of a man named Jesus who claimed to be God. And it is logical that this man Jesus, while on earth, established a church to outlive him and his other followers. And that church is the same Catholic church that exists to this day. And I belong to that church. I'm still Catholic because Catholicism is still true. Catholicism is still supported by a rich and solid theological tradition. Check out St. Paul, Hans Urs von Balthasar, St. Teresa of Avila, St. Ignatius. Catholicism is still not at odds with science. Check out Eucharistic miracles, the Shroud of Turin, the mantle of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Also important to note that the people who came up with the heliocentric theory, genetics, the Big Bang, were all Catholic priests. Catholicism is still not at odds with philosophy. Check out St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Augustine, Pope St. John Paul II, G.K. Chesterton. Catholicism is still true, and I still follow truth even if other people don't anymore. If all my friends stopped believing in the necessity of sunscreen, the reality of nutrition, and the existence of Leonardo DiCaprio, I would ask them why they no longer believe that. I would hear their story, I would act with compassion and love towards them, but I would still wear sunscreen, I would still eat healthy, and I would still acknowledge the prolific work of Academy Award winning actor Leonardo DiCaprio. Truth still continues to be truth even when it feels like everyone around you is denying it. Catholicism is still still true. The second reason why I, Maggie, am still Catholic is because of the church. For a lot of people, the church is the reason why they no longer practice the faith. Maybe because of some of the scandals and the abuse crises that the church is facing right now. Because of some priests abusing their power or church authority and not responding to current events and modern issues in the way that some people might like. And this stuff is serious. If you've been hurt by a member of the church, I'm really sorry. I wish that never happened. That never should have happened. You didn't deserve for that to happen. God did not will for that to happen. I hope anyone who abused you or anyone you know or anyone in the world is immediately removed from authority and you receive full healing and full justice that you deserve. There's this church document called Sacrosanctum Concilium that I wanna quote here with you. It is the essence of the church that she be both human and divine, visible, yet invisibly equipped, eager to act, yet intent on contemplation, present in this world and not at home in it. So the church is divine. She was established, she was instituted, she is sustained by the divine, by God himself. The church is an extension of God. The church is the body of Christ who is divine. And yet, the church is also very human because she's populated by earthly human members, by you, by me, by the baptized, by other people, and humans, sin. I know this to be true in my own life. Humans are broken and they break other people. I'm not enabling predators. I'm hoping to shed light on the nature of the church, that the church is divine, but she's also human and humans are sinners. And as sinners, humans are capable of harm. But humans are also called to be saints and are capable of greatness. In the body of Christ, in the church, I have recognized my own failings, but I've also recognized my identity and my mission. I've also found my community. I found my people. I found my family. I found my home. I found the Father. And in the Father's house, there are so many siblings who belong to God, but who also belong to me. My Catholic faith makes the most sense and comes alive in the community and friendship of the church. I've been watching this Netflix show lately called Last Chance You, like you as in university. And this documentary takes place in East Los Angeles and it follows a passionate coach who's trying to lead young men on his team through the many obstacles they face to become together a great team so they can win a state title 
and get recognition so their players can be recruited to play on the higher collegiate level. And these young men in Last Chance U, these young men, they work so hard individually. They put in so much time, so much effort on their own. They individually practice their free throws. They work on their jump shot. They condition and they work out. They work so hard on their own, but they know that you can't be a solo basketball player. One-on-one -on -one basketball, it's not a professional or a collegiately recognized sport. Basketball doesn't make sense when it's just played on your own. It's only in the context of the team that the sport comes alive. Watching that show, watching that team, the ELAC Huskies, play together and grow together, it's electric, it's incredible, it's attractive, it's the real thing. I work on my faith on my own. I put in a lot of time and a lot of effort. I'm praying by myself every morning. I'm opening the scriptures. I'm praying the rosary. I'm trying to grow in discipline and in virtue on my own. But I can't be a solo Catholic. Catholicism doesn't make sense when it's just lived on your own. It's only in the context of the church community that faith comes alive. It's electric. It's powerful. It's the real thing. And it keeps me going. It keeps me following truth, no matter how hard it might be. I'm Catholic because of the gift of my baptism. I am still Catholic because it's still true and because of the community of the church.